Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing and today we've got for you a pneumatic George. Yes, again. No, we haven't. Clearly you've clicked on the video because you're expecting to see an Electrolux slash Eureka self-propelled upright cleaner and hopefully I won't be disappointing you because I think this is what's in the box. Now, I think it is because, believe it or not, now, at the time of making this video, I'm actually making it quite soon before you see it. Um, it's October 20... I think it's 2021. I'm not sure. I, I don't know what year we are. I, I barely know the day. It's Monday, I think. Anyway, it's, I'm sure it's 2021, folks. I actually got this delivered on the 12th of October 2019. So, yeah, if my maths are correct, I've had this nearly two years sitting in my garage so if there's anything wrong with it tough i can't send it back i can't complain because it's been two <laughs> two years so i'm going to finally get this open I, I expect i won't be keeping this machine i'll clean it up and sell it but i thought look it's high time roger come on get this open and then you can get rid of this box and uh see what i need to do to this cleaner to restore it to full health well, I won't bore you opening everything. I'll just get it out and uh, see what we've got. Well, here it is, and it looks quite green. It shouldn't be green. It should be grey, but it's done what a lot of grey-coloured vacuums do, and they've gone green. Dyson vacuum cleaners, earlier Dyson cleaners, are notorious for going green. And this Electrolux 1400 watt cyclone power self-propelled upright has also gone green and we can see the original color i'll show you it in a minute so um yeah white cleaners tend to go yellow gray cleaners tend to go green and it's nothing to do with sunlight being left in the sun as um i believe it's been mooted that that's why some things go change color go green or go yellow because i've just um unboxed a brand new well, it was mine. I unboxed it ages ago on my channel, Hoover Zarion. And it's been kept in its original box in a dark loft. And when I opened it, part of the plastic had gone yellow, despite the fact it's not seen any daylight. It's to do with the temperature. A loft obviously gets very hot in the summer and very cold in the winter. And it's the change of temperature, I believe, that causes a colour change. So if you really want to look after your cleaners and you don't want them to change colour, I suggest you keep them in a a room that's got an ambient temperature that more or less stays the same temperature all year round. Not too hot, not too cold. I've given it a wipe over. It's a hideous looking thing. I've given it a wipe over. It does throw a bit of dust on. Obviously it's bagless so that will be filthy and I expect the cyclone filter, the paper pleated filter in there, will be uh, clogged up. I'm just going to switch it on. It's missing quite a few of the tools by the looks of it at the side here we've got some uh, holes so um, possibly a turbo nozzle is missing and another sort of nozzle and I don't know if there was something in that hole as well it does have though the wand and has it got yes well it's two wands I thought that might be a, a scabbard crevice tool but it's two wands so it's basically missing a crevice tool and some other nozzles as well. I'll have to look online to see what it's missing. I don't think I'll bother replacing them. I'm not sure if this is a cleaner I'll be keeping. Okay, well, the first thing I'm gonna do before showing you it is switch it on. Right then, folks, let's get it uh, switched on. Here goes. You don't, uh, you don't sound too healthy, mate. Don't sound too healthy. Um, I expect it's clogged up. Um, not sure where, oh, no, that's the carry handle. I don't want to lift it. Oh, has it been, f oh yes. I think it's had a repair job because uh, there's a huge nut and bolt through the handle. Oh, well, I'm hoping, surely that's not how it should be. Surely not. Let's 
<laughs> no, I can't see that that's correct. Now the, the handle is supposed to move because it's self-propelled. So this part of the handle does move up and down like the Hoover Concept One cleaner or the Hoover Power Drive Dilematics with self-propelled action. We do have a manual setting as well. Whether or not that works or not, I'm not sure. Um, oh yes, I was gonna let's see if I could see how powerful the suction is through the hose. And it's just a flexible hose. It's not a stair cleaning hose. I think a lot of that squeaking is coming from the agitator. The motor doesn't sound too bad. It spewed out a bit of mess. Right, I expect it'll leave dirty marks on this carpet. The reason I, one reason I got this out today because um, in the next few weeks I do want to shampoo my living room carpet. There's no point in doing it until I've opened some dirty vacuums. I have another dirty vacuum in the garage that I've had well over a year. That's a uh, going to come out next. So get the dirty ones done before I shampoo the carpet. Okay, well I'll give it a push on its, uh, on its highest setting just to see if the self-propelled mechanism works. Oh dear, right. It's hard to tell, it's not doing much cleaning. I need to lower the height of the uh, cleaning head. Put it about there, I think. Well, I, flick, I flicked it to manual and it was easier to push in manual mode. So that, uh, that doesn't bode well. I think this only has one wheel that drives the machine. Unlike the uh, Hoover self-propelled versions that have the two sort of big wheels in the middle. Um, this I think is driven by just one little wheel. And again, like the Hoover, it's driven with a separate belt. So it just has one motor. Um, the motor provides the suction, it provides the brushing action via a belt, and I believe via a different belt, I think a different belt, I'm not sure, without opening it up. But it also provides power to the self-propelled mechanism, which we can, uh, we'll have a look at the underside of this. What a monstrosity this is. You can tell it's got American heritage or po possibly Mexican actually. But yes, oh, I can see it now. Well, actually this cleaner was made in the US of A according to the label there. So yes, I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll know this cleaner if you're watching this from the States, you'll know this as a Eureka. So that is the wheel that drives the whole thing. Not, I would think, a very good place to have the self-propelled wheel, the Hoover self-propelled machines have the two drive wheels in the middle here, far better. And that system seems to work pretty well, certainly with the self-propelled Hoover models I've got. Very wide swept path. You can tell that this is an American cleaner because this would have looked huge to British consumers back in the day. It's a very wide swept path. It's even wider than a Hoover Senior. It's possibly 14 inches. The Hoover Senior was 12 inches. I think that's about 30 centimeters in metric. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. But whether I've got the time or I don't know, the motivation to strip this down and fix it up, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know, even know how we get to the belt or belts, but that is certainly 
the driving wheel. Let's see if it moves with the machine upside down. No, it doesn't move upside down, but perhaps it's not supposed to. I don't know. I don't know why I bought this. I mean, it's two years ago. I, I expect I wanted it two years ago. I don't want it now. All right, uh, give it another go. See if we can focus on the drive wheel with the machine in the operating position. it does move a bit it's got a filter on the back here which um, I, I doubt is washable but uh, I expect I can get a spare one and I think does it come out of this holder or is this how you buy it I suspect doesn't look like it no I think that's what I'd need to buy this whole assembly not just the pleated heifer I'll look online actually there may be some online instructions for this if not uh, the Electrolux ones possibly the equivalent Eureka so uh, I did give this a bit of a wipe because this had fallen off when I opened the box it is quite dusty and it was a bit hard to push in place oh there we go well that's locked in so we've got this awful cyclonic cassette it's the same I showed you a new in the box Electrolux Cyclone power which I subsequently sold which um, I think wasn't as wide as this very similar looking but it didn't have the self propelled action yeah it's just just the same uh manky folks it's manky <laughs> oh just put your hands in i don't know why i'm going Ooh, i'm used to it a lot of people look at my videos and say how can you put your hands in all that dirt quite simply i just go like that folks you know at least it's better than what james harriet used to do you know with his hands i'd rather put my hand inside a dirty vacuum than where James Herriot used to put his. You'll know that if you watch All Creatures Great and Small. So here's this. This will all wash. Uh, here's the <coughs> filthy filter. How does that come off? Ow. That might wash, but uh, ooh, I'll look to replace that. Oh, crikey. You see, this is what uh, other companies came up with when Dyson started to uh, dominate the vacuum market back in the 90s when they started showing their head. And uh, other manufacturers thought, oh, we'll have some of that. We'll get on the bagless bandwagon. And they produce things like this. But of course, Electrolux weren't the only ones. Every manufacturer, well, apart from some notable manufacturers, German ones, who decided they don't want any part of this filthy system of disposing of dirt. And it is filthy. It really is. What really makes me laugh is you see these influencers on Instagram and they're supposed to be, you know, these, or they keep a pristine home or they're a bit OCD about cleaning and they show a bagless vacuum. And I'm thinking, what? If you're that OCD about hygiene and cleaning, you do not buy a bagless vacuum, folks. You buy a bagged vacuum. Oh, look, we've got some details here. I'll quickly read them out for you. Self-propelled bagless cyclonic system, step saver hose, ideal for stairs and hard to reach places. Well, unless there's, a, there's supposed to be a separate hose, that certainly will not reach up the stairs. Bagless cleaning, never buy bags again. True HEPA filtration filters 100% of dust, oh, dust mites, grass and ragweed pollen, 
plus particles 75 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair and its self-propelled easy touch control handle. But of course, it doesn't matter if it's got HEPA filter. You open that, you expose to all the muck. You tip that muck out outside in the bin, you're still going to be breathing some of that, so it doesn't matter if it's got HEPA. Same with any bagless cleaner. It doesn't matter if it's sealed system, HEPA, hospital certified, if it's bagless, you empty it out and you're breathing in the dirt. Right, oh, there's more muck. There's more muck, folks. Here's the pre-motor filter and they've tried to disguise the stench with uh, one of those cheapo disc air fresheners that would fit a Hoover turbo power. When I saw it face down like that, I thought, oh, I wonder if it's a Hoover one, but no, it's one of those cheapo thin things you can still buy today. I'm going to sniff it. <coughs> Yuck. And then underneath, oof, oh, hecky, hecky thump. <laughs> just look at that will you have a look at that folks there's no point in washing these I'm going to go online and have a look for I'm not going to buy genuine if, if they're too expensive I'll just get a couple of cheap generic filters to fit anything's better than that look at that that's one of the worst I've seen but of course this is a very ineffective cyclone fitted to this Electrolux I suppose I could turn it on now with it all open. Yeah, so as I said, I think the squeaking is more due to the agitator down here. I don't think it's the motor. I'd know for sure by slipping the belt off. There is another, they've, they've gone to town here there is another, if I can reach in. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I've lost it, folks. No, not my marbles. I lost those ages ago. Oh, heck. I don't want to be putting my fingers too far deep into the crevice of this machine because you don't know when it, we're going to touch anything live. And we don't want... Here it is. Another one of those little air fresheners. So uh, they've tried their best, haven't they? To cover up the stink didn't work yeah and can you see how filthy it is look at that <laughs> absolutely disgusting now that's somebody's skin i suspect which is what most fine dust is made up of in a vacuum cleaner dust bag or bagless unit Fine dust like this tends to be what uh, people have shed from their skin. So uh, who knows? Who knows who I'm fingering at the moment? Uh, they might might be dead now. Now they're on the end of my finger. Never mind. We all we all end up as dust, folks. Sorry to have to tell you this. One day I'll even end up in a vacuum cleaner. I hope it's a decent one. Absolutely, <laughs> really, really dirty. Anyway, obviously this needs a good clean, but we've uh, we've given the filters a little bit of a vacuum, so certainly better than it was. I don't know which way this filter, I think it was that way. Not that it matters. We'll see about, I don't know whether just to sell this on for someone else to refurbish or do it myself. It depends. We're coming up for winter and if we're in for a cold, harsh winter, as I keep reading, um, I might have time to do it. While away the long winter nights, cleaning up my vacuums. Oh yeah, it goes on there, locates at the top. That's it. Might sound a little less choked now. Uh, it won't sound like anything until I plug it in. Just having a look, folks, in my drawer. Here it is. Be interesting if I do. If the if the 
in the highly unlikely event I do a follow-up video for this all cleaned up um, we'll be able to see if I've improved the suction so at its current state let's have a look at the old hose suction with a suction gauge well that peaked just about 62 I can't see me improving that very much maybe with two brand new filters and a good clean out might get it to 64 65 who knows right let's have a before I end the video and have a good wash I'll um, see if I can take the base of this machine off unplug first folks well at least it hasn't blown up anyway that's uh, a bonus isn't it oh what's the wattage hang on before before we delve a bit deeper we'll just have a quick look at the old rating sticker so this is model Z1910, product number 900250018, serial number 00090161704, 1400 watt max, 1300 watt NOM, Electrolux made in USA. I found an instruction book for this model or a very similar one and I've discovered that the two screws to release the hood are here. I couldn't see them because all these holes were full of dust. You can see here, this is more the original color. Not sure if it's picking up on camera. It's definitely got, uh, you can see a line here where it's quite uh, green. This is more the color it should be, this uh, silver. So I don't know, it might be worth spending some time on this I'm not going obviously not going to dump it because it seems to work you know I expect it'll work better once it's been fixed up so I think it's just two screws and then we can carefully there we go oh that's good Carefully remove the cover. Oh, revealing more muck. We'll just get the old shark out. Right, we can see actually, hmm, might not be belt driven because we have one belt this side, which is obviously, yeah, it's very loose. This is the agitator belt. In fact, I'll turn the cleaner on shortly with the belt disengaged so we can see if that squeaking is coming from the agitator rather than the motor. Hopefully it's not the motor, because if it's like an Electrolux, most Electroluxes, you can't really do much with the motors. But, I'm sure this is unplugged. Yes, it is. I'm sure underneath this cover is the self-propelled gubbins, hopefully. Ooh, ah, oh, that's unusual. I wasn't expecting that. It is a separate motor, folks. I'm sure a lot of you were screaming earlier on. It's a you stupid so-and-so well you know I'm not an expert folks sometimes I discover things as I'm making a video but I've learned something new today and some of you might have learned something new a lot of dirt it doesn't want to release
I really wasn't expecting there to be a motor. So that's good in a way because um, I don't have to find another belt for that. Right, let's, uh, at a safe distance, I'll switch it on, see what happens. We obviously, we heard the motor squeaking without the belt, so yeah, oof. It's going to need a bit more in-depth investigation. It might just be a case of trying to clean up what I can clean up and just lubricating. We'll have a closer look at this. Um, I'll just pop the belt back on. It is still plugged into the main, so I'm being quite careful where I'm touching. Just slide that belt back on the spindle. I don't think it's terminal, the noise it's making. I think I'll be able to improve matters. This didn't seem to be driving itself very well, but again, this is this problematic carpet. So it might, might be a case of the carpet. It doesn't like the carpet. Um, let's see if it'll move along. While I'm here, let's uh, see if we can have a look at the motor. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was uh, a normal Phillips screw. It's not, it's one of those uh, star shaped that I do have. Oh, that would have been, that would have been too easy if I'd picked the correct screwdriver. Rummage in my bag and have a look. It's, uh, do I need a smaller one than that? Uh, Smaller than that, is it? Ah, I was recently uh, using one of these star-shaped screwdrivers. I can't remember what it was for. Oh yes, it was for a shark, actually. It was for a shark cordless. I wanted to open up the cyclone to clean it in order to sell it. And at the time of making this video, I am selling some vacuums on eBay. Um, eBay UK. Ibasix underscore Emporium is where you will find my wares. If you, if you want to own a bit of Ibasic history. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. It's this type. This is a T, I think that's 15. This is, I think this is the one I've used the most because the writing's rubbed off it. Hang on, Lodge. Yes, I, <laughs> I'm sure I unplugged it, but you never know. I made that mistake once before. <laughs> once you've made that mistake once, you don't tend to make that mistake again. To see how fil filthy this motor is I, I assume it'll be quite dirty because of the uh, awful filtration on this machine a lot of dust will have gone to this straight through into the motor now I might try the old retro brighting now I can get this bit off I'll experiment a bit I managed to change the color of um, an Electrolux 502 using some biological washing powder and a bit of um, biological stain remover I didn't put it in the Sun I just soaked it in hot water but it was the water was too hot and I completely ruined it but it did change the color of it without any Sun so um, if it works without Sun that would be good because we don't get a lot of Sun in the UK certainly not in winter saying that in October it's a lovely sunny day and I should be outside getting some Sun rather than messing about with a dirty old vacuum let's remove that See if I need to, I might have to. Are you going to come out, folks? Come on, yeah. There we are, huh? Oh, crikey. I wasn't expecting that. I'll show you that in a bit more detail. Oh, all the screws have come out. You see there, that's the color. You can see, yeah, you can see clearly now. There, that's a good shot for you, folks gone green it's got the old vacuum gangrene yucky yucky I'm gonna do that I'm gonna because there's no seals that are, are gonna be affected by 
some hot soapy water. I'm going to I'm going to soak that and just see um, if I get the results before the end of the video. I'll show you. I'll pop that to one side. Let me just. Uh, I'm going to lose the screws. Where are the other screws gone? They're always falling out. Trouble having quite a deep pile carpet. Screws tend to go missing. Oh, I think it was still. Oh. Right, well what I was quite surprised about, hang on, let me just, uh, mm, where's the screw from that gone? I'll just pop the screw back in so it stays in position. This motor, for some reason, has got a clear body to it, which is, <laughs> not sure why, why you'd need it to be see-through. We can see the motor. Obviously I can't see much of the motor and it's going to need a little bit more of a open up I suspect. I do know of a supplier that does have a few older parts. I'm wondering, I haven't searched for this model, I'm wondering if they have a new motor. But if it's, if it's more than 20 quid it's not worth it really. Let's just switch it on again. Well, that didn't do much, did it? Not very exciting, but anyway, I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's terrible, but obviously there's going to be a lot more. Oh, where's oh 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 dear <laughs> oh dear! Look, the curse of old plastic. Oh, I can see where it's from. It's from the uh, oh, that's where the other screw is. It's from the old motor hood. It should be here, but it's a it's a clean break. Where does it go? It's not, it's not, um, is that, yeah, that way up, Roger. There we go, there it is. I don't think it's um, going to cause too much trouble, but I can just glue that bit. It's going to be secured by three other screws anyway, so having one that's not quite so tight isn't going to be drastic on a motor hood like this, but with some strong glue, I'm sure that will be fine. But uh, yeah, but it's uh, interesting anyway to have a look inside. Hopefully it's interesting for you. If you're still watching now, it is interesting, I suspect. But I was always interested as a, a child to see how things worked, what was inside them. And I would be forever taking appliances apart, normally managing to put them all back together again. But what I tend to do these days, if I'm unsure of something, I take photographs certainly of where the wires go and uh, other components so I can refer, if I need to, refer to the photograph afterwards. So yeah, you can see the motor, the motor spindle here, the belt that drives the agitator. Here's the suction hose. Obviously it's a clean fan system. And we can see here the the filter. So that's really that filter and the appalling cyclone is all that protects this motor from getting mucky. Oh, that comes out as well, look. It's all coming apart. I mean, this all could do with a good clean. And, you know, I think it's worth doing. It doesn't seem too bad. Um, and it's an interesting-ish cleaner. There's not many of these in the UK, I think, working now. Agitator looks fairly worn, but it's still probably serviceable. But again, after this video, I'll have a look. Because I've had this for two years, I've not really looked for parts for this, because I haven't known what parts it might have needed. So a belt, I don't think I'll have any problem getting a belt. I, I suspect I'll Possibly will have a problem getting this if I need a new agitator. It's wooden, I think. Feels wooden, or is it? I think it's wooden. It is off, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Should have checked before I started filming again. But I'm sure it would have made a, a funny video for me to get an electric shock. It's 
video is going to be longer than I was expecting. Wasn't I wasn't expecting to be tinkering so much. Hang on, it might be easier if I just pull it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oop. Yeah, it's got some bearings in there. Probably okay. Just a cleaning and a bit of oil, I suspect. End caps aren't... Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Really? Yeah, I think uh, at some point I'm going to put it back together. <laughs> and at some point I will have a look at it again. But it's not... Oh, that's a bit... Oh, it's, it's almost as bad as a pure power. Ooh, the pure power. Um, it's not a vacuum that I'm eager to get refurbished because it's not it's not a vacuum I remember um, growing up you know it's not a, it's not a favorite vacuum from childhood or my teenage years it's it's one I've never owned in the past you know but I like to show you a variety of different machines so I think I probably bought this initially thinking well it'd be quite interesting to show on my channel I wasn't all that interested in it in myself but it's a self-propelled vacuum and anything that's self-propelled it's it's more interesting I think than a standard vacuum look at all that gunk it is very satisfying though I have to say and I don't do it often enough and I will start to do it more because I have many vacuums that need a good clean and refurbish and um, I think I'm going to have a bit more time on my hands to do that in the in the future. Is that just? I don't know if what's. I don't know. I thought that was just something stuck on it. But yeah, I think it's worth saving. What do you think, folks? Do you think it's worth giving this a a refurbishment? So that's where I'm going to finish the video, leaving this Electrolux exposed. Everything is exposed. There are no secrets now. This poor vacuum has had, well, it's not had everything exposed. There's loads of gubbins up here. But uh, I think the main problem is down below in the nether regions of this Electrolux. But yeah, despite the fact it's got an appalling, appalling bagless system. <laughs> Very bad. As a bagged machine, I suppose it would be quite, quite good with a decent HEPA bag in it. Without all this filth, it would have... Um, HEPA bag and a, the filter, the pre-motor filter would have stayed clean or a lot, lot cleaner. And you could have made the machine a lot more sleek. I know that there probably was in USA, you probably got uh, bagged versions of this. Comment below if you got this as a Eureka in the US as a bagged machine. Because definitely, definitely this era. Oh, I did find a date wheel. And I forgot to say, I think it was 97, but definitely bagless cleaners from the 90s. They were all on catch up, trying to do a bagless because Dyson started selling lots of bagless cleaners. So everyone else thought, let's make bagless cleaners. And obviously they weren't very good at making them uh, on the whole. Right, where is it? 97, yes. Oh, it's made more muck on my lovely carpet. Never mind. Oh, and there's another screw falling off. There we go. So, there you are. <laughs> a very dirty, but yeah, it's one that I think it's worth at least cleaning up and getting sounding a bit sweeter. I'm not going to delve too deeply into this. I will sell it on. I won't sell it on as a refurbished model. I'll just say it's been cleaned. It works. Um, but yeah. A new, a new drive belt will certainly improve the pickup. New filters, definitely, and a general clean up. See what I can do with the motor. If I can add some lubrication to it somewhere, I will do that to try and stop the squeak. But yes, I think it's worth saving. What do you think, folks? If you have any comments or advice on this particular Electrolux, please comment below. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Whoop. <laughs> stay which i expect will be a nice brand new shiny vacuum cleaner i won't get filthy hands after unboxing it bye for now and thanks for watching